for my video production class, we were given an assignment where we had to make a tutorial related to something musical. And if you're like me, you have no shortage of musical instruments. I definitely do have more than I have enough space to keep. If you're also like me, you're kind of a bit of a pack rat. You don't really like to get rid of things. So the thought of giving away one of these beautiful, precious instruments is like, it hurts. You don't want to do it, so you don't, you know what? I'm here to tell you something. You don't have to. You don't have to get rid of them. I'm about to show you how to reuse them. You're gonna basically be destroying them. I didn't come up with this idea on my own. I was scrolling through Pinterest and I saw a picture and I got an idea, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. If you have any extra guitars kicking around or stuff that's like not in great condition, like what I had, things that are in not good enough condition to be playing guitars, ukuleles, pretty much anything that can be hollowed out, I'm going to show you how to make one of these things. It's a shelf. I mean, mine's not very good looking. Mine's kind of ugly. I ran into a couple of problems when making this. I'm going to walk you through it, tell you what exactly I did wrong so that you don't make the same mistakes as I did. What is this? I don't even know. I'm gonna show you how to make a shelf out of your old instruments. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is for starters, Find your instrument. I think that it would work better with guitars. I'm not ballsy enough to be destroying my guitar, okay? This thing here, I've had it forever. The quality of it was absolutely horrible and I thought it was time that I got rid of it. Once you've found your instrument, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is play it. I I'm being serious, that is step one. Step one is that you have to play the instrument. Unless you really, really wanna skip this step, I suppose you can. Just keep in mind that you are literally Never going to be able to play this again. Although I have certainly tried to play this one since uh, destroying it and you are ready. What I recommend is taking the strings off the instrument. The amount of strings that this thing went through was absolutely ridiculous. I literally string this thing like I suppose I used this for like two years just as like a little learning instrument and I had to string this thing so many times it was ridiculous. Keep your strings if you want to restring your instrument afterwards. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the front off. Whether you use electric tools or handheld tools, it doesn't matter. I mean, I recommend using electric tools, but you need to be careful. <laughs> I'm sure that there's an easier way of doing this than the method that I used. I used a scalpel to take off the bridge of the ukulele, or bridge? This part, this part here. I didn't really show uh, too well on camera what exactly I did for that. I just kind of like went over it 10,000 times <laughs> until I eventually made it through the wood. You're not going to be able to do that on a guitar, but uh, you can probably get away with using an actual electrical jigsaw without destroying your instrument like I did. If you're going to use a jigsaw, check the length of the blade before you do it so that you don't end up putting a hole in it. I told my grandmother that it was a bad idea to use the electric jigsaw on the ukulele, but she said, no, no, we'll just test it. It's fine. We'll just try it out. <laughs> yeah, well, 30 seconds later when we tried it out, we not only put a hole in the ute back of the ukulele, but we also, we did a good amount of damage to her table as well. After you've taken the bridge out of your ukulele, then guess what? You've passed the point of no return. You cannot use this as a musical instrument anymore. It is officially time to start hacking. After I got it started, I actually used an electric handheld a wood carver, which I think was the best option, but you have to start it first. So uh, Just take like a corner out. This part took a long time. Like it was extremely tedious This was probably the most painful process of the whole entire DIY Basically when I first started out trying to take the front end off of the ukulele I had intended on leaving a ridge around the outside or like just like a little it's hard to explain like just a little edge on the outside I didn't want to completely take it off right to the outside. Don't worry about leaving an edge. It's probably going to fall off anyway. It's not worth it. Just cut it like right to the edge. After a long fight with trying to get the front end of your ukulele or guitar off, then it is time to start sanding. Sand the absolute crap out of it because you want some smooth edges. You don't want any nasty jagged edges. You just want like a nice little rounded shape on the end. You want it soft, basically. You don't want 
you don't want sharp wood. That'd be gross. You don't want it. I would advise you to use like some more coarse sandpaper, I suppose. You don't want to use like anything too soft. I started off using one that was like a really, really, really old piece of sandpaper that my grandmother pulled out of a drawer from like 10 years ago. And it was basically so worn down that it felt like a piece of cloth and it was not doing anything. You've finally gotten your edges all sanded. It's time to start finding some scrap pieces of wood to make a shelf. I had like these two like little long skinny things. I don't actually know what they were. My grandmother just kind of found them. I had like four identical pieces and when I rotated them a certain way they kind of made what could have been a shelf. I'm sure that you can find something a little bit better than what I found. I didn't really have too much for options when it came to wood. I just kind of took what I found. It was like these four little scrap pieces of like not plywood. It was really really thin but when I like double layered them it kind of made something thick enough to be a shelf. Can you see it? Okay, yeah, there you go. So you can see that is two pieces of wood literally glued together and it's actually being held together with duct tape right now. The glue I used wasn't really that strong. You can also tell from the inside that I did that twice. Like I had four little pieces that I just kind of glued together in multiple areas. Along with a shelf, you're gonna kind of want to make like these two little supports. Mine looked like this. You'll probably have them like diagonally as well but I think the best option would be just to do what I did and go straight up and down because then you can have like a little mini cubby in there and you can put something kind of small in there like I don't know like a really really tiny grape. When you're making your shelf make sure that you actually get the required measurements of your instrument. I mean it doesn't ha you don't really have to make it exact just kind of get like the general area of where exactly you want to put your shelf then you can kind of just slide it around to make it fit however it's more or less the supports that you need to try and find an actual measurement for now that you've spent all that time sawing all that wood and getting those shelves it is time to see if everything fits together the way you want it to do not use any glue yet do not put things together until you know for a fact that things are going to fit measure everything before you cut your wood mark things with pencils just be very cautious when you do this then when you've gotten everything all cut and everything all ready you can start putting things together without gluing them just kind of place them in your ukulele how you want them and you can kind of get an idea of what fits what doesn't, what you need to sand off to make things fit better, etc, etc. You can figure that out for yourself. Your guitar is going to be different from my ukulele, so I can't really give you exact measurements for how everything is going to fit. You just kind of have to experiment and do it yourself. So things fit the way you want them to? Great! Now you can start gluing things. Uh, to put your supports in, I recommend using super glue and just kind of sticking them like right in there. Just go right for it. Just stick them in. You need to be careful with super glue though because the wood kind of absorbs it. So you need to put a hefty amount. Don't use super glue to glue together your shelf. I would use Gorilla Glue or if you don't want to wait that long, I recommend using Elmer's glue. I actually only used Elmer's glue because that's, I mean, what I had available. I could have used Gorilla Glue, but I just really didn't want to have to bother with the whole like clamping it thing. Instead, my grandmother took it and she's like, no, do this right. And I'm like, I'm just going to set something on top of it. And she's like, no, do it right. And then she took some duct tape and <laughs> taped it together. I actually had a really hard time getting the duct tape off later, so I just kind of left it. So don't use duct tape. So I ended up in the end just kind of painting over it. Also, to cover up the hole, I used some of the scrap ukulele pieces that I had left. I, I made like a really big awkward shaped circle and then I kind of sanded it down into a size that I was more or less accepting of. I also used crazy glue to glue the bridge back onto the ukulele. That worked really well because I just kind of glued the bridge to the fretboard and the fretboard wasn't really the wood that was on the inside of the... I don't know. Once you've glued your supports in with the crazy glue, that should take like literally seconds to dry. Just give it like a solid minute and then you're ready to start painting it and decorating it and doing whatever you want to do with it, I guess. Um, I recommend if you don't want it to look disgusting like mine does, then maybe use like a wood stain. It probably would make it look nicer, you know, less like something a child did because I literally used like craft paint, like acrylic craft paint. 
<laughs> and it looks really freaking weird. So you've painted your ukulele or guitar on the inside. Don't paint the outside, especially not if yours is like this weird plastic material like mine is. So everything is more or less put together. Now that you've placed your shelf inside of your instrument, maybe just give it time to dry before hanging it on your wall. Like you're pretty much done. If you like the way it looks now, then great. You don't have to restring your instrument. I recommend stringing your instrument because it looks cool. By this point, I think you should know how to string your instrument. I don't really think I need to show you how. Now that you've finished stringing your instrument, don't forget to cut off any excess string because you don't want to have like these little straggly bits at the uh, outside sticking off your instrument, unless that's your jam, in which case, go for it. Now that you're pretty much done, it should look something like this. Congratulations! Hooray! The only thing that you have left to do now is to make this weird little rope thingy. It looks kind of like this. I mean, not exactly like this, but for the most part it's gonna look like this. You, you can cut this tail off. I was just too lazy to do it. Hang it over your hand like this. You're gonna want a long bit of tail there. I'm gonna cross it over your hand once, once and twice. Now that you've got something like this, you can take the inside string and pull it through the other, oh my god, you can't even see what I'm doing. Pull it through the other two, okay, and pull. Kind of keep adjusting it so that you don't get like too big of a hoop like what I've got. This is way too big. There, oh yeah, you can pull it. Don't let it get too small. You're gonna want something slightly bigger because it's gonna be hanging like that. You've got something like this, and then you've got your two strings here. So what I recommend doing is because you've got two ends, poke your aglet here through, oh my god, and then make your first hoop. You've got one hoop, okay? Do the same thing with the other side, poke the aglet through the hoop, pull it. And there you go, you've got this thing. Maybe make a knot so that as you're like pulling it, <laughs> it doesn't continue to shorten your two loops. Just kind of wrap it around to make it nicer looking. Okay, and there you go, there's your rope thing. You're gonna wanna put the first hoop over the one nut, and then the second hoop over the second nut. And then there you go, you've got your little wall hangy thingy, okay? There you go, that's the video. That is how you recycle old instruments. I hope you had as much fun doing that as I did. Love my new shelf, it's great. I really hope that your ukulele or guitar turned out much nicer looking than mine did. See, my instrument wasn't very nice looking to begin with. I don't wanna say that it's ugly because I'm not very artistic, because I think anybody can do this. I don't think you need to be handy. Shh. Well, if you were doing this project along with me, then I really hope that you were satisfied with the results. If you weren't doing this along with me and you were just watching, then cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and ding the bell to get notified whenever I post. And you can check the description below to get a cool joke. And you can check the description below to get my Snapchat and my Instagram. And I think that's it. What else? Nothing? Okay. I think that's everything. You can click there to see my last video. I'm pretty sure it was candy, Mexican candy, I think. I don't know. Probably. Uh, you can also click there to subscribe to my channel. Bye!